Are you struggling with prompting and not knowing how to get good results with ChatGPT, for instance? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite AI prompting hacks that you can use in ChatGPT, Claude, or any LLM to get better responses. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this happens to be your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So this AI prompting hack is something I refer to as reverse prompt engineering. And I'm going to show you several examples in this video. But what this is, is this is the idea of uploading content like an image, such as a logo, an infographic, a thumbnail, or even just text outputs like a blog post or an email, for instance, and then using an AI tool like ChatGPT or Claude to analyze that content and reverse prompt engineer it. So what you can do is use a prompt like this. Based on this logo I provided, I need you to generate an advanced prompt to reverse engineer this output if I want to create something similar for my company called Tire Heroes. So for instance, let's say there's a company or a competitor, you really like their logo, you really like their emails, their blog posts, etc. Upload that to an AI tool like ChatGPT and use this prompt to analyze it and do something similar for your outputs. And by the way, you can find this prompt for reverse prompt engineering and other prompts inside my AI Marketing Insiders community. I have a whole AI prompts database here where basically I've compiled all the prompts that I use for different use cases. And on this example in particular, I have a bonus prompt section. So turning chats into custom GPTs, reverse prompt engineering, prompt repurposing, persona shaping, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll leave a link to my community in the description below if that's something you're interested in. And so let's look at some real world examples of how to actually use this. Let's say in this example, I run a mobile tire shop or an auto shop called Tire Heroes as I've defined right here. But let's say I wanna redesign my logo as I don't really like my logo. Well, what I can do is find a logo that I do like, which I actually like this logo, but you could upload any logo that you want and then say, based on this logo I've provided, now logo is the placeholder here, remember I had insert content type, so I'd put logo here. Based on this logo I've provided, I need you to generate an advanced prompt to reverse engineer this output if I wanna create something similar for my company called Tire Heroes. And then what this would do is it would generate an advanced prompt that looks like this versus just coming into ChatGPT and saying, hey, I need a new logo, here's my current one. This will get you better outputs using this method. So then what you would do is copy and paste this new advanced prompt, open up a new chat. I'd recommend uploading your current logo if you're gonna follow this exact example for logo redesigning. And then you would paste that advanced prompt right here. And then in a matter of about a minute or two, it came up with this brand new logo. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm impressed with this logo. And this is one of my favorite use cases for ChatGPT's 4.0 image generator. I have a whole separate tutorial showing you how to do that. And I'll leave that in the video description below. But what's so impressive about this, not only did it spell everything correctly, but looks like it also used the exact colors that I gave it based on my original logo. See how it extracted the exact same colors from my actual logo right now, and then use that in its new logo. But the biggest kicker here is it based it off that original logo that I uploaded that I really like. So this is a really good use case for something like reverse prompt engineering, in my opinion, is redesigning logos or other images. And on the same topic of images, another great use case for reverse prompt engineering is infographics. So I have a whole separate tutorial showing you how to generate infographics with ChatGPT. You can find that below this video as well. But let's say for example, I came across this really cool infographic that I wanna repurpose into my own branding and other edits that I wanna make. So five essential SEO trends for 2024. This is a pretty simple but good infographic. So what I can do is upload my logo for my branding branding. Now, if this is 
whatever your branding is or your logo, you would upload that here. And then we can do the same sort of prompt style based on this infographic. Now remember infographic is that content type right there that I have in the placeholder. I provided on SEO trends. I need you to generate an advanced prompt to reverse engineer this output if I wanna create something similar with my branding. So here is that advanced prompt for creating an infographic. So what I would do is literally copy and paste this entire prompt, open up a new chat. And the only thing I would change here is I wanna title this five must know SEO trends for 2025. And in that second chat, I also uploaded the original infographic and also my branding. And then in a couple of minutes, this is the infographic that ChatGPT generated. I like this. I mean, it didn't misspell anything. It has the colors based on that branding that I uploaded with my headshot. It used those colors, right? So five must know SEO trends for 2025. It doesn't look like anything is misspelled here. Everything fits in one image. It even says AI insider tips on the bottom there. So in general, it's a basic yet high quality infographic that I can use in my blog posts. I could use this for social media content and any other type of educational content. But that is another use case for reverse prompt engineering is infographics. So now let's look at one more example, but this time for a text output. And let's say I come across this article that I really like, and the target keyword here is best AI tools for marketing. Let's say I wanna write a blog post on my website going after that keyword. Well, this article from Zapier ranks very high on Google for that keyword. Not only that, but I also really like the styling and just overall UX of this blog post. Well, what I can do is reverse engineer a prompt to generate a blog post that looks similar to this. So what you can do is open up ChatGPT. What I would recommend doing is saving this or printing it as a PDF so you can get a PDF version of that blog post. And then what I would do is also copy and paste that blog post. So I'd upload the PDF and then I would prompt it with the following. Based on this blog post I provided, I need you to generate an advanced prompt to reverse engineer this output if I wanna create something similar for a blog post on my website called AI Insider Tips. Now here's an important step. I said, here is my website. So I went ahead and copy and pasted the URL of my website into ChatGPT and it's smart enough now where it can actually analyze my website, look at my style, look at my writing tone, my branding, my colors, etc. So I want it to have that as a reference. And then I said, here's the blog post text in PDF. So I uploaded the PDF of the Zapier article and I also went ahead and copy and pasted the entire article and I went ahead and pasted it in this chat. And so what it did is it generated an advanced prompt to reverse engineer this blog post. So then what you can do is take this entire advanced prompt, copy it, and what I would actually recommend you do is use Claude for something like this. Claude, in my opinion, is better at copywriting, just from my experience, than ChatGPT. So I'd recommend using Claude for this example, but you still can use ChatGPT if you want. And you'll see here I'm inside a Claude project. That's gonna improve your outputs when it comes to AI writing in general as well. So then what I did is I copy and pasted that exact advanced prompt right here into Claude, and I also uploaded the PDF of the Zapier article. And then using my writing style, my tone, my structure, and all the instructions I've defined here in this Claude project, it went ahead and generated an SEO optimized blog post based on the prompt up here. And just looking at this for the first time, it looks like a really high quality blog post for a first draft. Now, if I copy and paste this on my website, click publish, am I gonna rank one overnight for my target keyword? No, the answer is no. You're gonna have to fine tune it, add internal links, add some images, some infographics, improve the UX and whatnot, just some other on-page SEO elements to actually rank for that target keyword. But this is a really good first draft. It even gave me a meta description, an SEO title. And so that is another great use case of reverse prompt engineering is taking a high quality blog post for one of your target keywords from a competing website copying and pasting that into an AI tool and then asking for an advanced prompt based on this final output.
So I hope you found this tutorial helpful on how to use one of my favorite AI prompting hacks, which is called reverse prompt engineering. Again, you can get this inside my community in my AI prompts database under bonus prompts, but just for simplicity, I will leave this exact prompt in the video description below for those of you who just wanna use this prompt and not all of these other ones. And if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. If you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also leave me a comment below if there are any other AI prompting hacks that you guys use that I should explore further. And lastly, if you want to take your AI skills and knowledge to the next level, I'd recommend joining my AI Marketing Insiders community. You can find a link for this in the video description below. This is a no BS community for marketers, content creators, and business owners who are looking to better leverage AI. And inside this community, I have about $1,000 worth of course material that's included in the monthly subscription fee, my AI Beginners Bootcamp, my Marketing Essentials course, I have a prompts database. I also do weekly live Q&A calls for an hour every week. That's your opportunity to pick my brain with any questions that you have. And this is also just an amazing networking opportunity to meet other like-minded individuals who want to improve their skills with AI. So again, if you want to become an AI marketing insider, you can find the link for this in the video description below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.